Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to do this triangle start and triangle end for alphas. This is a wide known technique and I need to make my profile more for beginners, you know, I need to make some more tutorials. So today we'll be doing this for alphas just to make them look nicer so you don't have like boring starts and it's pretty easy to do so I'm sure all of you will get it. And let's jump right in because it's gonna be great. So I'm gonna be doing it with this purple cow pattern. And I have 13 strings, so that means I have 12 bass strings. So of course I'm just gonna make my loop and come back with all my 12 bass strings just ready to go. And then I'll pick a color for my loop. Just a quick recap on what I've done is, this is just for the pattern itself. So I have cut five strings that are about two and a half feet long and that are all the same length. And then one string that is probably about three, that's about, that's probably about 16 inches longer. So I have five strings of equal length plus one six string. That is a little bit longer to make a loop. And now I'm just gonna put all of the groups together. So I'll just match those up. Find the midpoint, of course, and then choose a spot to start my loop, which for me, it's gonna be about right here, maybe half an inch down from the regular spot. And we gotta put that point onto our clipboard like this. The clipboard will like attach up here. You can also tape it down. Now go ahead and make your loop. Let's go. And for those of you who don't know the basic knots, I have a video right up here in the card that will teach you how to make the basic knots that you need for your foundations of bracelet making. Okay, I finished my little loop and all of these strings together equal 12, which is what I need for my personal pattern. If, well, first of all, what you're gonna do is split them up into two even groups. So that means six on each side. Now let's say you had 13 bass strings and that would mean you would have six on the side, six on the side, and then one would come down in the middle. You just do that, but then you just have an extra one in the middle. So you would just basically do what I'm doing, except you tie a knot over the middle one. I'll show you what I mean in a second. So since we have even, we just have two bundles on each side. And we'll start by taking our little background color and tying it into the pattern. I just kind of tie it to my clipboard like that. So it just holds it in place for me while I begin my pattern. So I'm gonna bring it underneath and I'm gonna do a nice little backward forward knot over this little group of six and then I'll do, well at this point you would do a forward knot over that middle thread and then you would do a forward a backward knot over the second group. So there we go. Now you would bring a thread in from each side that leaves the group. So if you had an odd number, of course, you'd have one, two, and then that third string would be right in the middle here, but we don't. So we can just continue with our little pattern. So what you do is a forward, backward knot over the bundle of five. Then you do two backward knots, but if you had an odd number, of course, you'd do three. So I'll just do my first backward knot my second backward, second backward knot, and then you would end off with a backward forward over that row of, or that group of five. So now you have two in the middle, five on each side, and we're gonna bring in another string. So now we have four, but if we had an odd number, we'd have five, and we're just gonna do the same thing over again. So we'll do a backward forward over that bundle of four, then we'll do four forward knots over the threads that we've taken out of the bundles. And then when we reach the other side, we'll do a forward backward knot over that bundle of four. So you can probably kind of guess what the pattern is. We just continue to bring strings out until we have all of the base threads out by themselves. So now, whoopsies, we're going to bring out another one from each group. So I have six in the middle and bundles of three. Hold on, if I can get that. Okay, there we go. So once again, we're gonna start by doing a forward backward knot over that bundle, then by doing six backward knots over these newly loosed, loosened threads. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. 
And then you're gonna end off with a backward forward knot over that bundle of three. So now that you have six in the middle, three on each side, once again, we're gonna bring one in from each side. So then we have eight in the middle and two on each side, and you guessed it, we're gonna do all straight edges with the backward forward on this side. And then we're gonna do our eight forward knots. Just gonna speed through that really And quick. then once we finish our eighth forward knot, we do a forward backward over that bundle of two. So now we have to do a knot over every single string. So we have no more groups on the edges left. So we'll just of course do a normal row. So we'll do a forward backward over that rightest, right, rightest most string. And then we'll do 10 backward knots. And this is my 10th. And then on that leftest most string, we're gonna do a backward forward knot so as, to so as to complete our straight edges technique. With that, you have all your base strings now ready to start your pattern and make whatever you're gonna make. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this peanut butter and jelly cow and then I'll come back to show you how to finish it off and do the same thing except for the end of the bracelet. So, I'll be okay right guys, I'm at the end of my bracelet. As you can see, I made a peanut butter and jelly cow bracelet for this little project. And we have to do the shaped end. So once you finish a row, I'm just on this last row, you start by combining two strings uh, on each side. So then you have a group of two, and then strings, and then a group of two. So just like the top, what we're gonna do is start off with a backward forward knot. And then we'll do, I believe this is eight forward knots until we reach the other side. So let's do those eight forward knots, but leave out the group of two. Once you get to the group of two, you're gonna finish off the row by doing a forward backward knot. So that was just, that's it. And then you combine another string on each side. So that means you have a group of three on each side and then six strings in the middle. And you start off with a forward backward knot and then you do six backward knots over the individual threads, like we have been doing. And then when you finally reach the other side, you'll finish off with your straight edges, so in this case a backward forward knot. So once again, you combine a string on each side, leaving only four strings in the middle. Start off with your backward forward, and then do four forward knots over those four strings in the middle. Remember, if you had an uneven, or if, yeah, if you had like an uneven number of base strings, you would have an extra one in the middle that just wouldn't get put into a side group, unless you wanted to. And then when you reach the other side, just do a forward backward knot over that side. So now what you do is once again combine it so you have more groups. I think this is a group of five right now on each side. Start off with a forward backward and then do two backward knots. And then do a backward forward. And then finally combine these last two groups to make two groups of six. Do a forward backward over this individual group. And then do a forward backward over that group. Voila! You have successfully made a triangle end for your bracelet. I'm just going to do one more backward forward on this side. Ooh. 
and then one more forward backward on this side like that but that's literally it now you can take this string out your leading string out and do twisted ties on the end and finish off your bracelet however you want also make sure to stay tuned because i got my first mail and just a disclaimer i probably won't be receiving mail again because well i don't want my address out there and i probably can't send bracelets back to everybody because they take forever to make yeah. so this is from one of my bracelet book friends lulu um i haven't really looked inside yet but i did open it because you know she asked me to open it on camera and film a video for you guys so i'm definitely gonna do that Make sure to go check out her bracelet book profile as it's linked in the description box and let's get started by opening this up. But first I see two bracelets in here, but I found a note, so I'm gonna read the note first. It says open on camera, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. Ooh, my face is getting really tan in this window, so I'll put the envelope right over here. Here, and we're gonna read this note aloud. She has tiny handwriting. Okay, dear Claire, my name is Lulu and I've been a big fan of your YouTube channel for a while. My favorite thing to do is make friendship bracelets, so when I found your channel, I really enjoyed watching it. It's unusual for me to find a channel that I connect with so much, but I really connect with your channel. I sent you some of my bracelets I've made. There should be two bracelets inside the envelope. I may not be very good at them yet, but I'm trying to improve my techniques. I would love to receive some bracelets from you at my address on the envelope. I would also love to continue writing back and forth to you while I can. It made me extremely happy. Also, hi YouTube. Um, another thing about me is I teach my friends and classmates how to make bracelets as well as sell my, friend, sell my bracelets to them too. It's nice to meet you and I can't wait to get some for me too. Have a great day. Sincerely, Lulu. So, this is obviously amazing and I'm so glad that you sent me your bracelets and you want to improve and you teach your friends how to make bracelets. That's really amazing. I'm going to be sending her some bracelets back because uh, she was the very first person to ever send me any bracelets and I think that's really cool and sweet. So I'm definitely going to be sending her a bracelet or two back. So thank you so much Lulu. I'm glad you love my channel and connect with it and I'm going to go ahead and open up the bracelets that you sent me. And I really appreciate it. Okay, so we have a pink one and we have a blue one. They are very cute. So the blue one looks like this. I love this pattern. I think it's adorable. She did a good job. This is actually a beautiful bracelet and the ties are very long. So kind of take after me because my ties are always very long too. And then there's this really cute little pink one. It has a brown, a pink and purple in it. I can see that she's going to be very good at bracelets and these are very cute. So. Thank you, Lulu. Look at that. These are amazing. You can do anything you put your mind to and these are adorable. So I'm definitely gonna respond and write her back. So thank you so much. And I really appreciate it as always. Okay, everybody, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to Lulu for these bracelets. Um, I probably won't be doing that again though because I can't obviously like send bracelets to everybody and my address out there just kind of is scary. But I hope you guys are able to make this triangle end and start on your own and have a wonderful day. Make sure to tune in for next time's video and please consider subscribing.